Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pixel Tour, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a play review on the new End of an Era Frank Rivery card that has dropped in Ultimate Team. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. If you guys want cheap and reliable, fast Ultimate Team coins, then make sure you guys check out MMOXP. Their link will be in the description. Make sure you guys use code POKEY12 for 5% off. Right then guys, welcome back to the video, as you guys can see, this is the team that I'm rocking right now, normally I'd have Alaba there, but I'm trying out this PK card, if you guys want me to do a play review on him as well, let me know, and I'll get that done, but first and foremost, Frank Ribery, 2 games, 10 goals, this was all done in Rivals as well, so no squad battles, nothing, this card is liquid football, and when I say liquid football, I mean he feels like a gem on the ball, he is so quick at doing skill moves, it's ridiculous, obviously it helps that he's got 5 star skills, the weak foot, is non-existent he plays as he shoots as well on, the, on his left as he does on his right he's an incredible card high medium work rates i quite like on this because also he will he will track back to over the halfway line uh, in defensive situations which is really 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 good obviously left wing left mid the thing is i do feel like he has been a bit disrespected because he had a 90 rated a rule breakers card which is a very good card but compared to this the rule breakers isn't as good this card has got more overall in-game stats than the rule breakers itself. But yeah, this card is awesome. As you guys can see, 90 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 90 attack position, 86 shot power, 86 finishing, 85 composure, 90 balance, 86 agility. Yes, I do feel like that could be tweaked up a little bit more, but it's still very good. His short and long passing are insane. The passes and the crosses he's done. I played, uh, also played a game with him in friendlies. I know it won't count against my mate Ben last night. And he whipped in a cross that I've never seen before. Led to me finishing absolutely beautifully with Chiesa. But yeah, this card is awesome. Player traits, injury prone, flare player, outside foot shot, and technical dribbler. I know the outside foot shot and the finesse shots have been nerfed a little bit, but they're still easily hittable with this card. Like, this card is broken. As you guys will see, a couple of clips on, on screen for you guys right now that I've recorded after um, I play some of the games. Because obviously, you guys know I play on PC. So obviously, I can just go back to the highlights and just literally record them without having to use an Elgato and whatnot. But yeah, this card is awesome, man. If I was to tell you uh, like an SBC to do, it'd definitely be this Frank Ribery card. I, I I can't say anything less than to, for you guys to actually do him because he is incredible. I mean, yes, he is what? F Let me quickly check on Footbin right now for the current price of his SBC. Currently, he's going for 477k is his SBC price. Let's have a quick look at his Rule Breakers price. His, full, his Rule Breakers card is 528k. Don't forget, at the start, I did say this card is better than his Rule Breakers based on overall in-game stats which he is. Like I said, if it just comes down to whether you, whether or not you guys want a Ribery that can play through the middle, i.e. the rule breakers can play camp, center forward and striker, or if you guys want a winger Ribery that can play left mid and left wing. At the end of the day, they're both going to be very similar based on the way they play. Just obviously the rule breakers hasn't got, a, it, it lacks, the rule breakers got eight less passing, two less fizz. Yeah, it lacks in passing and fizz. Apart from that, the rule breakers has got better stats. Now, the rule breakers got one more pace, same dribbling, same shooting, two better defensive, but it obviously lacks eight in passing and two in fizz. So yeah, this card is overall better and he is around 80k cheaper, roughly, 50, between 50 to 80k cheaper, depending on if you guys can do the SBC with fodder. I would definitely tell you guys to complete this card. It's definitely getting a top for me. Well done, EA, I'm releasing this card. Yes, you guys should have maybe made him 93 rated, maybe put an 89 or a 90 rated SBC in him to make him a little bit more pricey, so he's actually worth the coins. But yeah, I'm not saying he's not worth the coin for the, for the actual value that he is now, but yeah, he's incredible. So let me know what you guys think about this card in the comments, by the way, if you guys have completed him. So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have completed this card and if so, how he plays for you, because I do actually want to know, because for me, he's been an absolute gem. Oh, bro, he plays brazy. So yeah, guys, if you guys have liked this video, please show the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon. Bye!